bring the action. Morning guys, thanks for clicking on the channel, I'm Tank and my beautiful assistant is Lily Boo. Um, as you can see I'm wearing a military Dutch army poncho, I've got a backpack on my back so that's going over the top, keeping our waterproof okay, there is rain doing. Uh, as you've seen, we done a tactical walk into the forest and we sat in this position for 10 minutes, just listening, taking note of the noises around, okay? There doesn't seem to be anyone in the forest. We're quite a way in, so we're good to go. So what I'm going to show you today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make a a shelter out of this poncho this is a Dutch army as I said you can make it out of any poncho but I'm going to show you how to make a plow point configuration using a ridge line okay it's pretty straightforward and it's good shelter now the first thing you want to do is find two trees okay opposite each other obviously now the wind is pushing this way so the back of the poncho would be pegged down with its back to the wind so the wind is going to push over okay keeping Lily, me and Lily Boo nice and dry and out of the bitter wind let's get started so what you're going to use uh, in this exercise guys is three stakes you don't have to bring your own you can make your own I do bring these ball elastics I call them I use them on the peg out points you're going to need some paracord to make a ridge line I've already got one made up there you're going to need about 20 inches of number 36 bank line and of course your poncho when it comes to the height guys I've taken all the stragglers off, okay? When you're setting up a poncho uh, stealth, stealthily, anywhere from waist height to knee height. I'll be doing waist height today. So I've got my ridge line up, guys. It's at waist height, okay? That's what we'll be using today. I'm not going to show you how to do a ridge line on this video. I'll put a card up now. Have a look at that. That's a good way of doing a ridge line. So for today, we waist height. I'm just going to put two parasics on now, one on each end. So I've got two of them on, guys. Two sliding knots, two parasic knots. I've got one in the centre and one down the end, away from the wind, because I will hold the front of the shelter up. This is going to hold the hood up. So I've just connected it there using a toggle so this is going to be the front end i say it again this is away from the wind we want the wind to scoot over the top of us so using three stakes now and three bungees i'm going to tight uh peg out the back and both sides so we're at that stage now so we're in like a diamond formation this is where number 36 bank line comes in I'm going to loop it around the hood and connect it to the parasic knot on the ridge line and uh, 
and I'll also show you an alternative way. So one way to do it, these are the ties of the hood. Tie them in a knot, tie a slip knot in, connect it to your plastic knot. Tension up that way. So you pull it back and it's lifted. That's one way of doing it. I'll walk you around now first before I show you the method I like to use. There's lots of ways, there's about well, there's about three ways you can do it. See so there's a shelter there. So that's one way of doing it. So you tie a you tie the cords on the hood on the ends you put a bit of a uh, number 36 bank line through you tie a slip knot to the plastic knock, knot sorry, and you pull backwards to raise the shelter I'm going to show you another way now make a loop make another loop that goes behind so what this is going to do now is going to fit over the hood So here's the loop I just made guys Putting both loops over the hood Feed it over And tighten up So that's our stage So there you go see so that's connecting now to the hood. I'll do my best to show you from a few angles how I do it, right? So from the end facing you, come over the top. Okay? Come over. Pull it tight. You come around three times. One, two, three. Press it up. Come over the other end. Form a loop. And draw tight. And what you do is then pull it back like so. I'll show you now from the other end. Right, so I'm showing you now from the opposite end. So here's my number 36 bank line. Here's my ridge line. I go in that way, okay? I'm going over, I'm drawing up, and going over once, twice, three times, I'm dressing it up, I'm going over, I'm pulling the tag end through, pulling it tight, job done. Okay. Here's my number 36 bank line and go in that way look So that's what it looks like There's the hood There's the ridge line Sliding knot there Happy days See it's just elevating it up to give you more room inside as Lily is demonstrating Oop. see I jump inside now to show you what it looks like so there you go see plenty of room in here as I said earlier so the wind now is scooting over the top of us That's what it looks like guys. This shirt down in it babe. Lily likes it anyway. Yeah, so this is the, the low profile Dutch Army Poncho Plow Point Shelter using a ridge line.
So when it comes to releasing guys, it's just quick release. Just pull it once and it's down. Same with the ridge line, quick release. So there you go guys. So that's the plow point using a Dutch Army military poncho using a ridge line. There's several ways you can connect your hood to the ridge line. But the method I showed you is my preferred method. Give it a try, right? Any questions, put them down in the comments down below. Please like this video. Please share it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you soon, guys. Out!